Hi, I'm Andy Bragg, a technical sales representative with SKC. I'm going to demonstrate the SmartWave DB app for communication between your mobile device and the new noise check dosimeter from SKC. First, you will need to download the SKC SmartWave DB app from the App Store or the Play Store. When you're ready, turn on any noise check dosimeters that you have and you want to communicate with. Open the SmartWave DB app. It will automatically search for any available units in the vicinity that are turned on. I just have one unit on and available, but if there were multiple units in the area, you would see them listed here. You will see the name that you have assigned to the unit, whether the unit has security enabled, which is represented by a little padlock symbol, and what the real-time sound pressure level is for each dosimeter. Select the noise check that you want to connect with. If you have the secure lock selected in the PC app and you have not connected with this device before, you will have to enter the password that you have chosen when setting the parameters in the PC app. I have set my password as simply one, two, three, and four. Now you will be at the main screen showing the octave band measurements for the virtual dosimeters currently selected. You can change the one that you're looking at simply by selecting the tab at the bottom. I have activated the OSHA hearing conservation, the OSHA PEL, ACGIH, and the MSHA hearing conservation for this dosimeter. Using the main menu in the upper right hand corner, you can view the setup parameters for each of the internal dosimeters. You can, well I'll go ahead and set that so you can see what that would look like. Then you can view the history for the last run and any other run still stored in the instrument. If you select a file in the history, you will be given the option to add a note to this history file or to view the report. And it's a very nice report. I'm going to show you an example very quickly. It's a nice report that gives you all of the measurement parameters for all four dosimeters. It gives you all of the session summary information for all four dosimeters and then down at the bottom it gives you the pre and post calibration information and this can be texted or emailed to anyone without necessary access to a PC. So now back to the menu. The last choice you have there in that same menu in the main screen is you can rename the device. So as you see at the top mine says A period brag dash demo I can rename that anything I want to rename it. Now, now that you've confirmed everything in the instrument, when you're ready to start a run, you simply just press the play button on the screen. Now from this point, you can pause the run. You can then resume that run. And when you're ready, you can stop the run. And at that point, it will give you a confirmation screen to make sure that you didn't accidentally stop the run. So you can confirm that just by selecting Stop Now. The summary information for all activated internal dosimeters will now be shown. From this menu, you can add a note for this file, or you can view the octave bands if you would like to view them again. Once you're finished viewing the information from your last run, you just confirm as much by pressing the check mark. And now it will take you back to the main screen so that you are ready for the next run. This concludes this demonstration on the SmartWave DB app. Please contact SKC if you have any questions. Thank you.